We lose keys. Socks mysteriously vanish in the washing machine. And sometimes we even lose our teeth. And I'm not talking about losing teeth as a child when the tooth fairy comes and pays you a visit. I'm talking about adults losing teeth here. No tooth fairy involved, unfortunately. Just a permanent hole in your mouth. If you lose one or more teeth, you can decide not to do anything about it. Maybe you just like that tough guy or gal look it gives you. Maybe you're lazy and enjoy being able to pop Tic Tacs into your mouth without having to move your jaw. Hey, it's your mouth, your choice. A lot of people, however, don't want to live with missing teeth. And for cosmetic and or health reasons, they are looking for something to replace the missing tooth or teeth with. That's where dental implants come in. What is a dental implant? A dental implant is a replacement tooth root that is surgically implanted in the jawbone under your gums. The implant is commonly made out of titanium or zirconium. Once it's in there, your dentist can attach a replacement tooth or bridge to the implant to give you a long-lasting, realistic-looking replacement. There are two main types of dental implants, and they have big, boring-sounding names. Hey, I didn't name them, I'm just sharing the info. But bear with me while I explain them in as non-boring a way as possible. Endosteel implants are the most common type of implant. They are implants which are placed or implanted, see where that name implants comes from? Into the jawbone. They can take the form of screws, cylinders, or plates. Which form is used depends mainly on the amount of bone and the bone quality. After the patient has healed from the initial procedure, a post is connected to the endosteel implant. Then the artificial tooth is added to the post. The other common type of implants are subperiosteal implants. Subperiosteal implants are not placed into the jawbone. Instead, they are placed on top of the bone, but under the gums. Kind of like the way a cowboy saddle rests on a horse's back. These implants are often used for people who have shallow jawbones. They have bars or posts that come up through the gums and the artificial tooth or teeth are attached to those posts. Hopefully that answers your questions about what dental implants are and you can now impress your friends with your newfound knowledge. To find out more about dental implants or find a cosmetic dentist near you who specializes in implants, visit cosmeticdentistrynearme.com.